Hi, I'm Bob Gresh, founder of Born to Be Brave, and our team is excited about you joining us in our Born to Be Brave ministry. We're excited you're going to get this box. I first want to go back and give you some context uh, for what we're doing. We started as a uh, ministry for girls uh, called True Girl and Secret Keeper Girl. And after every event, the first question would be, what do you have for boys? So in 2017, we started an event for boys called Born to be Brave. Some of you have been to the event with the Wheel of Destruction, uh, interactive games, all kinds of cool stuff with a live band. And we're doing really well, growing at that. And then uh, the virus came along. You know what happens after that. We cancel all our events. We have to restructure the entire ministry and really work our tails off to figure out what to do next. What was next and is next is this box, the Brave Box, which we are very proud of. The construction of the box, the design of the box, our men, our male team worked really hard on coming up with some cool stuff for this box. And I want to introduce it to you today. Let's get to the box. I want to bring Matt Rigner in. Matty, come on in here. We call him Matt Guyver because he's the one that does all the cool stuff at the show and fixes the wheel of destruction when it breaks the glass, things That's like right. that, right? Yep. Matt designed the box, worked up really hard on it and all the contents. So I wanted him to come in to help me explain uh, what's in here. Matt, first of all, we got, I think, exclusively a great quote. Yes, we did. From we a did. famous I, I, athlete. It says, I may float bit. like a butterfly and sing like a bee, but born to be brave boxes are better than me. That's they great. are the greatest. They are the greatest. Matt, how did you get that quote from... I have, uh, I know a guy, as they say. He knows a guy. All right, here we go. So open up the box. And the first thing we have in here is a welcome letter in the envelope. You can deal with that. And what else we have, which is really cool, is uh, Matt found... Bubble wrap. Where'd you find this, Matt? I've never seen this before. Yeah, online. On, well, I know online, <laughs> but everything's online. Yeah. At the bubble wrap, the black the bubble, bubble wrap. wrap store. All right, yeah, good. Wrap. And we have an extra sheet in here, too. No frilly paper here. Very Girls cool. Girls get frilly paper in their box. We, we thought this was more manly. That's right. It is more manly. All right, Matt, what, what else do we have in there? What's next? Well, we have a father-son adventure called Periscope Perspective. It is a, um, a very easy scripture lesson that father and son can do together and it uses the periscope glasses periscope glasses yes. why don't you try those on, I will try them on. see now yeah, look at that i can um, you can see my hand right if i were laying in bed i could watch television or i can read this piece of paper right here without any effort whatsoever uh, it's a lot of fun uh, my sons love these things we built a father-son adventure around it called periscope perspective Based upon the verse, Psalm 119.105. Psalm 119.105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And it's a great father-son connecting tool it is. that we know is really important. Very cool. Very cool. Just a side note, uh, watching your kids go down the steps in these things is hilarious. Not true. Delete that. Delete that. Okay. We have the Born to be Brave sticker. Correct. Right? Sorry. We have... Tell me the, about these socks because I did not think this would work, but it, it did work. Yeah, crazy socks are a thing. Uh, my boys love them, and I think a lot of kids, um, teens and tweens, do really get into the crazy sock thing. So we developed, uh, designed some crazy socks for Born to be Brave with the one and only Wheel of Destruction. The only sock in the world with the Wheel of Destruction on it. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. Next, we have a game that you've played. I have not played this, it, it's, but you've played this. It is fantastic. It's a great family game called Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Uh, very easy card game to learn, as the developer of the game says, almost no barriers to entry. Pick it up and in a few minutes your whole family will know how to play it and you'll be having a blast doing it. All right, good. Now we get to the heart. Well, actually we have this, which is very cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? It's uh, Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. Yes. Right near our hometown. Of yeah, Allentown, from Norristown, right? Pennsylvania. And uh, this glows in the dark. It Indeed. It glows in the dark probably better than any glow-in-the-dark item I've ever seen. Uh, it's pretty intense. You think it's the best in the world? I, well, next to anything you could get from Chernobyl, yeah. A little radio action joke. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, now we get to the heart of the box, which is my favorite thing, and that is the scripture memory verses and uh, the journal. And we've actually included a pen for um, a maze pen, just a little item that they can write in their journals with, right? Yep. And so we have these 26 verses, this verse pack. Can you explain how these work? Yes. Um, a full half year. Is that the right thing? 26 weeks. 26 weeks. Um, 
each card is going to have a question or a thought on one side and a scripture verse that addresses that or answers that question. Um, you know, uh, for example, whenever you feel scared or alone, it'll give you a little tidbit of truth. We have 26 of these in here for you. Uh, take one a week uh, in any order you want, and then you are going to uh, commit that verse to memory, and then you're going to take that into the Born to be Brave Quiet Time journal. Mm -hmm. I learned about 200 verses when I was a kid in my Word of Life uh, club with my one of my mentors, Ralph Mauger, and I remember those uh, a long time later still because I learned year after year after year it's repetition repetition those are 26 core verses that we picked uh, that relate to really core questions that your son might have lies he might believe about himself and the truth that replaces those lies now I see a wristband in here real yeah, quickly uh, in there that's a wheel right? right that's correct okay it is a, a silicone wristband want to be brave logo on it and it, it has tire treads on it. it. I'm telling you, everything in here has some sort of cool quirk. Uh, and if you know Born to be Brave, you know it just fits right in with everything we do. Yeah, and even this, Matt, you know, we've found that kids wear these. It's a way to, to that other kids ask about and to talk about. Mm -hmm. And it's a way to have them feel proud of what they're doing with the box and relate to their memory verses. So it's like everything's cool, been thought through. It's like a cool string on the finger, a reminder of all the time that dad is spending with his son. Um, he's gonna remember that every time he has this wristband on his wrist. Anytime he uh, he has those socks on his feet. You gave away the secret to the next box, the cool string one that we're going to give to their finger. Oh, yeah. That's true. Okay. Anyway, Don't we have the, so when you have the pen, you have the verse cards, mm -hmm. they go into these, my Born to be Brave Quiet Time Journal. This is really special to me. Uh, we've patterned it after a quiet time diary that I, that I had with Word of Life uh, Ministry, and um, in it, it has the verse of the week, it's 26 weeks, right? One for each verse. This verse in my own words, how it applies to my life, and then something I'm grateful for this week, because we know gratitude goes a long way. The cool thing is, even in the front, we have them itemized so they can, uh, they can keep this for years to come. I always like to have something that they can find in a box 25 years from now and think, oh, that was cool. Uh, and that's in there too. And then, what's this? The dad's version. Of, Look at that, it yes. matches. You're wearing a dad's version gear. There you go. Fantastic. It's like we planned to do it. Yeah. So, missing the duct tape, which we'll do after fine. this. Well, that's in the second set. Design upgrade, mm -hmm. yes. Cool. So what does it do? Well, this is, you're going to do the same thing with your sons. Um, sometimes dads will feel a little bit intimidated by learning scripture. And I think you, you can see here that we've, we've broken it down really, really easily for you. Uh, you'll fill out some information in here just like he will. And one of the things that I like the most about this is towards the end, there are two places in here where you can write down some amazing things that you learned about God and some really cool things that you've learned about yourself. Because that's the whole point of this, is to get in and allow God to do work through your daily uh, approach to scripture, to do work in your life, change his relationship with you uh, and help you grow. Uh, and then towards the very end, there's another neat little challenge in here to write a letter to your son. Um, mm. Because the whole idea is, indeed, this time capsule uh, where your son will have this someday and look at it. He'll have his to look back at and, and see how things are unfolding for him and you as you're doing this program together. You know, one of the things, Matt, we want to do with Born to be Brave is to get dads and sons wins. Not load them up with a bunch of work. Some people are more advanced like that. But sometimes it's just nice to get a win. To write something down, to do it once a week, mm -hmm. to do it with your son, just as kind of a thing that's like, hey, I did that this week and that's cool. That's not your whole relationship. No. But when I was, when my son was younger, we went to Wings once a week on a, on a Thursday night and um, spent some time there. And my wife used to always ask, hey, what did you talk about? And I, we didn't actually have super substantive conversations, but we had fun together. Mm -hmm. And so that was a good basis for our relationship. And that's what this box is designed to be. Matt, we have one box, it's near sellout. We think that we might be doing some other boxes We're too, working right? on content for a second right now. Uh, so that will be available at some point in the near future. And the whole idea of these first two boxes, sort of like a pilot program, is to see if we can get enough traction to launch this as a full-time subscription uh, in, at a date that will be determined, maybe Father's Day-ish or so. The True Girl Box, the sister ministry, mm -hmm. um, they're doing it once every other month. Correct. We'd like to do the same thing, mm -hmm. but we're gonna walk before we can run. So, hey, when you get this, you have a good time with it, 
Um, tell your friends about it and come on Facebook at Born to Be Brave uh, or on our website mm -hmm. and tell us how it went for you. Um, send us some pictures and let us know because we think it's a great way to connect with your son. We hope you'll have fun with it and we'll see you next time.